get that gem, Mona? I stole it. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Thieving again? Were you a believer, you would have to face judgment for that. You sure are passionate about your job. Ouch! Something poked me. <laughs> That's what we call divine punishment. It was this broken mirror. Why was I holding on to this again? Was murder just awful murder <sighs> what now are you hoping to see something I have a bad feeling about this in your gut you could say that I trust a detective's gut to be more accurate than my own this time, I pray it's wrong, though. Out of the way! This area is closed off! We'll be the ones investigating the incident! was Alpati's, without a doubt. Yes. <laughs> and after she finally flew from her cage... Who would do such a thing? Why would someone kill Alpati's? Now that I think about it... I must return to my clan. ...to fulfill my mission. She mentioned fulfilling her... mission. Yes. And she said she had to return to her clan. I wonder what that meant. In any case, we'll need more clues. Let's return to the scene of the crime. I couldn't agree more, Detective. It would appear all parties' corpse was taken to that shed. Though there's a guard dog on duty. Hmm. It would be quite unfortunate were it to howl. Would you ensure that our hound neither barks nor bites, Throne? Are you asking me to do the dirty work? My specialty is making dogs speak, so... It's not easy working with detectives. Good night. are stitched in an odd place. There's a slip of paper here. It says, The Cavern of the Moon and Sun. It appears to be a map to a cave nearby. There's more written here. It's some sort of code. There must be something there.
Her hands and feet were bound, but her mouth was left unfettered. She was likely interrogated, but was killed when she gave no answers. Do you think they were after this map? Perhaps she couldn't let anyone else have it, so she concealed it in her clothes. Of course, this is all mere speculation. If she was willing to give her life to hide this map, this might show the way to her clan. There's only one way to know for sure. Let us make for the cavern. Sacred flame guide you, or something like that. Do be gentle. There's nothing here. No one leaves treasure where others can so easily find it. But everyone leaves a mark to remind themselves where they hid it. Huh. Where day meets night. We have to keep looking, no matter how many days and nights pass. No matter how many... Days and nights pass. Bravo, Throne. You're a wonderful assistant. Am I now? <laughs> it seems you're onto something, Detective. The truth lies in the flame. Now then, as one might guess from the name of the cavern 
of the moon and sun. The key likely lies within night and day. Welcome back. Where day meets night. Both the sun and moon illuminate this stone. Our clever detective. Another slip of paper. Hope for the dawn. There's something else here, too. A fragment of a cloudy mirror. Looks like the other one. The one Alpatis gave us. They fit perfectly. Huh. <sighs> These fragments were once part of the same whole. But what is it? You truly are an excellent assistant, Throne. Thanks to you, Throne, I've finally remembered something. The origin of Alpatis' name. The Flamebringer Elfric left someone here in our realm to consort with humankind. Her name was Alpatis. She may be a descendant of the clan that shares the blood of the Flamebringer. Meaning, Alpatis was born of the gods? The scripture tells this story. After the death of Alpatis, her children were overcome with despair. Elfric then crafted a single mirror from her body and the warm light from the mirror relieved her clan of their sadness. Do you think this mirror could be? Alpatis' mission was to protect that mirror. But one mystery still remains. Why did she leave that mirror to us? A mystery indeed. If she hadn't been born a child of the gods, she may have been able to live a free life. She risked her life to protect this treasure. I'll take good care of this, Alpatis. 